Learning a lot of stuff. Learning a lot of stuff. Hello. Interesting that you've acquired one mark. Interesting that your her that bird person's attack was still maintained through the level loading screen. That was interesting. That was confusing. You told me I didn't make that jump. This one I can understand. The scroll of the elder. I like him riding the, the dagger down. Manuscript belonging to the cantankerous old man who dwells in the hamlet of the Golden Knots. It contains a list of names that covers the parchment in ink from beginning to end. Those who wronged him, potentially. Just, uh, oh, it's the elevator for the shaft. I mean, I feel like that's worth doing. We've just unlocked a shortcut. We're gonna need these. Hopefully there's more shortcuts in uh, Blasphemous 2, because having to run back and forth through the entire world multiple times trying to find everything that I was missing previously took some, took some time and effort. For instance, this is what I'm going to have to do from the top side, so I should have done it from the top side. Ugh. Look, I'm sorry, but I've already fought you. <laughs> oh, missed that one. You I had to kill, because if I didn't, I would have regretted it. Okay. Yeah, definitely cannot parry those. Actually, the damage from the dagger is pretty good. Actually pretty good. Actually factually. Oh, miss that one. That's okay. <sighs> Gotta I'm just gonna go heal actually. Gotta figure out the timing for it, of course. Also figure out like what, which of my moves I can cancel out to do the parry. Actually, it looks like it happens at any point in time, but it wasn't working before. Very interesting visual on that. What the heck was at the end of this room? It was just the uh, item that we now have. A whole bunch of platforming puzzles, and then there was a door up there I didn't explore previously. This is why I'm really backtracking. I want to find all the doors. Hello. I should just use the mace, honestly. Like. Oh, I wanted to get the kill on him. It's it's very easy to use this. It's very good to use this. Gotcha. Hello. You can't see me. He he could see me, but he missed. Good to know.
<laughs> I tried to switch my weapons. It didn't work. Not fast enough. Not enough cash. Thank you. Mmm. Okay. Gotta go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. Javera of the Poison of Jealousy. I'm always saying Javera of the Poison of Jealousy. And that's just a dead end now. Gotta pay attention to adding waypoints to the map. Not waypoints, but markers. Because I am going to get very confused in this game about where I've been and where I need to go. Oh, I don't even control this. It happens automatically. I really thought I was controlling it. Thank you. See you later. I will say I really, really, really miss having access to the dash. Along with... Right. Along with the parry at the same time. So I, that kind of makes me want to use the other weapon. Did I go down here previously? The dagger is still interesting. Did I not come down here? No, I did. Must have been a shortcut. Is this a shortcut that I have to unlock? Did I un- I unlocked this, okay. You go this way, up the elevator. Sick. Verdadera destreza means true dexterity, says Celso Luis. Of course. But of course. What is here? See, like, I hit... Hit... Oh. I hit parry, but it doesn't parry in situations like I've just finished an attack move. I have to wait for the animation to be completed fully. Don't do it. Then I can actually parry. It makes it a little hard to figure out the right timing for stuff. This is not the best weapon to be using for those guys. I want it to be, but it's not. One shot those by pressing B. What's B? Oh yeah, the dagger. I forgot about that move. There's a lot of moves, okay? A lot of moves. Oh good, a puzzle. Well, hold on. I need the middle one to be like here, I think. Uh, that one, why don't you just stay there? That seems fine. Whoops. There we go. Now, which one is this one? Ah, go. Okay, I see the problem. We can fix this, we can fix this. This one needs to be...
like here. This one. Probably needs to be like, I don't know, there. And I guess that first one is probably fine. See if my platforming pays off. The guy. It's a, uh, it's a woodcarver statue. Hold on. The heck does it do? Resonances. What? What is resonances? Collection. Collection of figurines. Increases physical damage inflicted. The guide. It's uh, the guide from Blasphemous One. Increases mystical damage. Oh boy. <laughs> what does mystical damage? I don't know. Something, probably. Well, there's something here I can't access, so we'll just dead end that one. That was a weird visual effect when I walked in the room. <laughs> so let's go up some more. B is mystical. I'm sure there's also other uh, things which will do mystical. You know what? B. Okay, maybe not. No, I gotta call it down again. Hmm. I'm sure I've got something that can cut through that. Maybe. I wish this was easier to experiment with without falling down to your, uh, your doom. Maybe I don't have anything that can actually do this. Probably something you do from the other side. Ooh. Got him. Didn't can tell, but I don't want to spoil, and I appreciate that. I don't like spoilers. I like figuring things out for myself. Minus certain mechanical things, which I'm just very bad at figuring out sometimes. Goodbye, blood baby. Well, I actually, I don't think I can get through this because that is locked, unless I need another ability to get through this. Or probably going through it from this direction or something else. So I will say, that I'm probably unable to get through those doors. It's chains. You know what I will try though? Yeah, it doesn't work. Fair enough, fair enough. There's another chain too. Yeah, we might have to come back with some more abilities, but I'm still gonna experiment and look around. Collect all the things we can collect now. Yeah, okay, you know what? I got enough money. Feast your eyes. Yeah, feast your eyes on this. We have no more eye pray. Come. Yeah, see you later. See you later. Don't know what He'll have later, but hopefully he has something good for us at another point in time. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Woo. I would very much at some point... No, 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 I want to kill him. I would very much like to at some point... Uh, find something that does make the parries easier, but that's probably a rosary bead. 
or what was it last game? It was a heart, the heart of the sword, maybe that did it. I can't remember. How do I go down? Thank you. Um, so that is the path. I have to go down from here. It was an elevator. Maybe I just need to go down the elevator. Maybe I didn't go down the elevator and as such I didn't unlock a shortcut. Okay, this is just your death for now. See, different execution. Yeah, I saw that one earlier. It's the same one from the first game, or it looks similar to the first game. Yeah, here it is. We have not opened this up. Now we have. Excellent. Uh, which means I think we're pretty much done with this area, except for the boss fight. I can't go anywhere else. Even here on the left, I don't... I don't think there was a way past that, so... This is just all dead ends. So... Back to the Choir of Thorns. There's a door here. Actually, right, right next to it, in fact. Dun, 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 Maybe go for a little bit of health, but... All right, wrong button. It's gonna take a while to get used to that. It's another uh, shortcut. I, I approve. Seems like that's a good time for it. Probably missed a secret, yeah. I probably missed several, <laughs> let's be honest. What were you? Sisters, right. I don't have any sisters yet. That's not true, I have one. This is the guy that purges your curse. This was a dead end. This was the Lady of Blood. This was Hammer Time. We should go see Hammer Time. Maybe we can do some platforming as well. The wood, I sense how its veins nourish a body that seeks to be wounded with my chisels and hammers, that yearns for the cuts and indentations that will free it from its coarse origins. Good for you. Uh, let's open and put on. Oh, we have two more. Increases the chance of critical hits when using prayers. Oh, this is what we bought. That's fine. And there's even uh, special synergies between these, but I don't think we have synergies between any of these right now. May the hand. Yeah, thank you. Shouldn't he also wait until he has all of the tools? Or maybe I'm, I don't know how, uh, how that works. <laughs> maybe I don't understand art. Okay, I didn't, didn't see this earlier. I'd also just completely whiffed on whatever that place was called. It's gotta be like another jump, maybe? At some point, cause I can't make this jump. Hmm. No, actually, this is the path up to the next boss, isn't it? Gotcha. I think I'm gonna have to, like, 
go through the first couple of areas again and actually explore it properly and look at the map and, you know, attach things to the map. I think I maybe have made some mistakes. There's a hole down there, but I don't think that's actually, like, anything. <laughs> Did you hear that? Crumbling, crumbling walls. Hey, it's you! Not the, not the Mort skull. The, the dude with the sarcophagus on his backpack. I remember dude with the sarcophagus. Hold on. If you, that's the bell. I guess if you use the dash appropriately, you can like get through enemies, can't you? Like, if you go through enemies, you can turn around them. So you can, you can basically turn them around, keep them backing, uh, keep, them, keep them looking back and forth and back and forth. Immaculate mother of pearl gouge. Metal blade with a pronounced curve with it. Sculptors car carve and sculpt the wood with extreme delicacy to produce precise contours in their work. Well, good for you. thousand bucks and a shortcut which we cannot access but we will as we explore because it is like a, a little bit of a teleport isn't it it's not just a dash attack it's a dash attack that teleports you to the other side of the enemy which seems pretty good if used correctly oh good spikes <laughs> although they're not instant death which is funny I do like that the mace is very good at breaking projectiles. So, so here's the thing. That's the wrong move. You can stop its fervor depletion, by the way. You put the weapon away. That's what that looks like. Nothing personnel, kid. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> it really looks like there should be something down there, huh? If only I knew that starting with a veredicto so easy you get all the weapons before you even fight the first boss. But like, can you not do that with the other weapons? I, again, I can't quite remember the specific path that I took and what we found on the path. Okay, there is a yellow thing here. He screamed. I don't know why the animation for that move is so broken. I just like stop moving for a second and then it comes out after a moment. I started here with the daggers and I had to go up here to the boss and after the boss I got the mace. Oh, should have started with the mace.
Two thousand money. Yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna find the room that had the uh, the mace in it at some point. You've acquired one mark of martyrdom. You've defeated several enemies. And that has procured you an upgrade point. How many of these will you find? Who knows? We shall discover this together. Hello. Handy little shortcut. Um. Well, I do know that there's loot there that I can't access, so I think we're okay. You know what, we should, I think, quickly check this out. Because this should be nothing. What's up here? Can I knock it up here? This was the hole that I jumped in and it killed me, I think. Okay, so yeah, I can't get up here. This is just a uh, dead end. But I can go up here, which presumably means I can go up here. Fantastic. So in this case, it seems like you still can't get past this enemy. Like, you can't... Oh! His head is the sensor, by the way. You can't uh, dash past him. Way too early. Way too early. Ooh! Okay, now I know that's how that works. Let's go heal. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't mean to do that. It's a big baby. <laughs> it's a big fat man baby. Hello. Penitent one of merciful steps. My golden mask weeps to see you before me. You are in the garden of high choirs. I am another of the holy brothers of the golden visage, born of the miracle. Oh, tireless time that travels without delay and erases the past. Conjuring up uncertain futures, make us remember when the miracle imposed its dark punishment upon us. That which prevented us from soaring and traveling with the breath of the wind, penitent one. Free my brothers who, by the designs of a miracle that already seems a stranger to us, are imprisoned and scattered throughout these lands under the gaze of the great heart that has risen on high. Only they will allow you to climb to the highest point. Hmm. Reach Help baby. Us by freeing more brothers, and we shall reveal to you what the tower holds at its highest point. Very much a direct, uh, this is what you get. <laughs> Find all the babies and you can climb to the highest point in the tower. And presumably the door will open as well. All right, well. 
I will I will come back here when I find more babies. Alright, left and then up. Kind of the uh, aerial combat already gives you a little bit of a of a bump whenever you hit something. That's what it feels like. With the the dagger, anyways. As opposed to the dual swords. I don't think you get a. Well, I guess you get a little bit of a hop when you uh, do an aerial downwards attack, very specifically. Chain. Let me see. Maybe that's why it's a little out of reach. The game is trying to say, hey, you need something else to get here. In which case, I kind of wish that there were more markers. So I would love to be able to mark that additionally. Just be like, okay, I need something for this. I'm going to need something for this as well. I don't know how to get past this can't get past this right now. So, put a treasure marker here and make sure to come back later when we have more things. Damn it. Well, there's also treasure here I'm not gonna know how to get to because we're going to need whatever shows us the yellow platforms. Hey, dude, I haven't seen you in a while. I gotta get through you, my friend. No, oh, I was in the middle of my attacks. Yoink. All right. So all this does is it lets me go back the way that I came. Can I go down here? Nope. It's like another item here that I can't access. It looks like. This looks like the brother of the sadistic cult. No, it's the... There was a Cathedral in uh, Blasphemy. Blasphemous one at the top left of the map. Sacred Entombments. Um. Weird. I'm like, is the ground gonna give way? Kind of looks like it should. It's a cool looking area though. I mean, clearly there's stuff in there. Um. Hmm. It's a weird ground. It is a weird ground, isn't it? I mean, it's just, it's sand is what it is. Luckily this thing one-shots everything. I, I was gonna say, I need to heal. 
And we did. Wait, how do I get through this? Hmm. There's no, uh, no bells to ring. I guess maybe the bell on the other side you can ring, but I don't, I couldn't see how to access it immediately. Okay, maybe the range on the mace is higher than I thought. That was weird. Or you know what, it's probably just a big hand. <laughs> There's totally something in here. Look at this. Look at this architecture. Maybe there's actually nothing in there. It's just a ceiling. And a bunch of people with no hands. Their hands are in the sand! Okay. Are we going to reduce the sand level at some point? Is that what I'm getting from this? Because there is clearly something here. <laughs> there is... I, you know, this is going to be a question mark, because I have no idea what that is. Hello. Dong it. Poor guy. can certainly remove this from the map now. Also, sorry, friend. I had no choice. I had a choice. My choice was not to proceed or to proceed. So the, I'm, I'm looking at it. Yeah, this is definitely where you would have picked up the mace. What is this? The Anointed One. It's another wood carving, I think. Let's see. Um, why? There it is. Increases the strength of the mace by 15%. There you go. So presumably there will be others for the other two weapons. Wait a minute. Oh, we're uh, underneath now. So you get a cross. Okay. No hands, weirdly enough. Where are we going, man? How do I get up there again? I need I need at some point there's gonna be like another jump. Or a, a dash, like wall to wall, I think. There's gonna be something. you could go up as well because there was another location where I think the bell would shine. What the frick? Okay, I mean, I remember Wallman. What the heck was the purple guy? Let's do it. I'm ready. That's cool animation. So what the heck was, uh, it's just like Suicidal Purple Man. What are we in the Five Nights at Freddy's universe? Luckily, well, you t took a lot of my health, but they seem to almost die in one hit sometimes. 
What do you think? That's what I thought. I just wanted to check. Clung. Ah, when you break the thread, it goes away forever. Fills it up with sand, that way I can get across. Understood. Hopefully this won't cause any other problems for us. This is going to rise up, and we're going to have to follow it all the way up. Why is it so slow? Maybe to just give you time, I guess? Think there's any, like, secrets for doing the whole thing? Killing all the enemies? Because you don't have to kill the guys on the sides. Don't actually do anything. We good? All right. Whoa! Now we're fine. Ah, poor guy in the tube. going down. I guess this is like some spiraling staircase of madness happening. Just for secrets. Gotta find them at some point. Knock, knock. Anyone home? There's one point in, a couple of points actually, in the previous Blasphemous where there were secrets under the ground. Gotta make sure you find those too. Hold up, hold up. Kinda do wanna just get my health back real quick. I mean, this is actually, well, this is the direction that we want to go in, but there's something here I want to explore first, because it looks like I won't be able to come back easily. I don't think this can hit. So close. No, what was over here? Ah, okay. Very glad we took a look at this. Make sure that this has been unlocked. Now we can go back up. <laughs> Perfect. But again, how do you get up here? I see. So you want to... That's the second bell, which you used to... Okay, I get it. But we got to find a way to get to the first bell. Hmm. How do you get to the first bell? I guess we have to do the thing that I was just talking about. Go down here, get this one. Dong! I must go faster. Got it. And now we have access to this one. Break the door. Now that door's been opened permanently. 
No! All right, well. That enemy has been killed, I should be faster now. And also the door doesn't have to open. Game's slowing me down. The cloth of the old woman. What do you call an old? Cloth belonging to the sprightly old woman who lives in the hamlet of the Golden Knots. The cloth is mysteriously pristine without a single thread out of place despite its great age. Okay. Have I been to the place of the Golden Knot? I don't know, I'm bad at names sometimes. Oh God. Gotten tribute. Probably more fervor. Oh no, it's just a second of the same coins. Oh, <laughs> hey, here's how you're supposed to get this. All right, there. Oh, take that. Come on, there we go. Dong. So the next question, was there another one of those aerial quicksilver drops up here? Maybe like above where I currently am standing? Hmm. Because it does look like maybe there's something else up. Hold on, let me, let me go around real quick. This might be where I need some sort of like additional jumps or something. It's like, why, why does this exist if not to do this and then nothing? No, there's gotta be a super dash. And I, I'm gonna make the reference again, but like a Hollow Knight thing where you can just dash in a straight line to the left. That's the only thing that makes sense. And if we have to do that, then next time we come here with the super dash, we can do that side as well. That's my guess. No reason to have that, okay. No reason to bell the toll. These guys. It's like, just stop. Stop trying to murder me, please. Uh-oh. Okay, we made it. We can't go there without raising the level of the sand. These guys, they, uh, they've got some attacks. They're not weak, necessarily. I guess I don't even have to kill them and I still get the money, which is kind of funny. It's a very, like, Pretty easy to get door. You just jump twice. Hey, 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 hey. Am I technically behind you and I can hit you now? All right, that's a cool animation. That's a new one. Hey, checkpoint. I haven't even taken a hit yet. I want to I want to grab this and move it. I want to want to push it over here. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to make this jump, but I can't. 
Hmm. It's definitely something there that I'm I'm not getting. Maybe I just need to change the sand level. And don't get crushed. been unable to find a tell for those guys. Go! Go! Keep moving, Marines! We are leaving! Thunk! <gasps> This must be a horrible trap to set up. <laughs> Every time someone goes through this place, you have to reset the sand traps. Just like any like Indiana Jones self-destructing temple. Like this must be a, just a real awful place to work with. I don't know if there's a tell for those guys. I'm just getting lucky, I think. Um, luckily, for some reason, you just kind of go through me. I do appreciate that. Thank you. <sighs> well, at least I know what to expect. are very tanky. Oh. Come on. Hey, got him. I tried so hard to jump over his head. Finally, a secret item. Unfinished lullaby. Fragment of a lullaby. I feel like I haven't found a secret in forever. I've been looking too, like, there's a reason why I keep hitting like every wall. Alright, where are we? Back to here. So we want to go... Well, there was stuff over there, too, right? Which, now that we've lowered the sand level, surely we can access. Move! Oh, Hold on a second. Is there anything here? No. Okay. can go over here now. Get one mock of martyrdom. This area I can't, I can't go down left from here. But we have reduced the sand level, so we can go over here now. This requires me to get higher and then drop down. can't get any higher. So I think this is kind of a dead end here. Hey Connie, welcome, has a sequel. So far so good. I'm having a good time uh, trying to figure out where everything is, learning new things. I like, I like Metroidvania, so I like games like this, so I am having a great time. 
Hmm. Did we not go through this direction before? Maybe I have to lower the sand level one more time before I can get through there. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, I want to go down. Yeah, that might have been the area I was at previously. Still doesn't explain how to get through the door underneath. and tells me we're not done with the uh, the hands or the sands. <laughs> Love watching these guys just kind of pop up out of the ground. <laughs> this is a save point. Oh god. a hard fight. Anything better or worse than the first game? Uh, honestly, it's very similar to the first game at this point. Nothing I would say being better or worse. It just is. They changed some of the buttons. <laughs> That's worse temporarily until I get used to the game. You know, you know. Here, here's one thing. So, you have different weapons now, instead of just having the same sword for the whole thing. And now I can't have one weapon that has a parry and a dash and does good damage, because the only weapon that is a parry and a dash uh, doesn't do as good of damage. This one here, the, the rapiers, basically. So I can dash, I can parry, but the pretty much OG weapon here can parry, but it can't dash. But maybe you can unlock the dash later, because you didn't start with the dash in the previous game. Okay, the boss is literally below me. No, it's below me in the previous one. I want to go up. An old man yells at clouds, back in my day! I can't do this right now. I can't get high enough, lol. So far though, I do like having multiple weapons. It adds another little uh, wrinkle. Okay. So, hold on, we, why couldn't I go down from this side? heck is over here? Oh, I can go down now. I think because I lowered the level. Alright, fine. These things. They're fast, they don't do that much damage though. Yoink! The broken bell. If I didn't know it was a different game, I couldn't tell says Connie. And I think that's the sign of a good sequel, which is like, hey, it's more of the same. Resistance to fire damage. Slightly increases resistance to mystical damage. Mystifying. 
The mace is really good, though. It does allow you to pummel enemies from afar. Um, whoa, didn't mean to hit that button. This is the area I couldn't go to previously. Ah, I can open the door, though, so let's go do that. All the way around though, but I can, I should be able to rather do a downwards attack there, which should open the door. Let's see. Up. Get the right weapon out this time. This is the wrong direction. Although, is there anything that we've unlocked here? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we've done all of this previously. I should be able to leap. Smash. The Rosa of the Three Stars. That's another spell. How do we do that? Start. Oh, it's a quick burst. Launches a spreading volley of short range projectiles inflicting fire damage. Why not? Actually pretty cool. And it looks like we are basically ready to fight the boss here. It's the only thing left to explore. Well, it's not maybe not the only thing left to explore, but we're getting close. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're a Vesper? Here are Will's Cross once again. Oh nameless penitent one. For a long time now, my life has been naught but a constant struggle to fulfill a promise as old as these lands. Is it your wish to meet her? When I was but a girl, I was able to escape the horror of the deformity engendered by the miracle. A miracle that chose the clean reflection of the still waters of a lake to reveal the truth it held in store for each of those who gazed within it. The old bell, which had fallen to the bottom of the lake many years before, began to ring, making the waters ripple to its eerie chime. Our reflected faces began to distort before our terrified gazes, and the miracle ended up capturing that work that disfigured horror on the waters, as if it were a fresco, making everything that had been reflected in them disappear. As I fled, I turned my gaze towards the lake and beheld that ghastly event from afar. Penitent one, can you not hear it? We find ourselves in the confines of one of the ill-fated forms of the miracle, that yearns to meet thee. Do you wish me to join you in your next confrontation? Then I shall continue my search until our next meeting, Penitent One. She's the woman who helps you in boss fights. This is the boss fight. Uh, there was a similar character in the... In the first game, uh, I never used her at all. Used her. <laughs> the ornate chalice. Cup embellished with small stones used in rituals. At its bottom, dark blood stains can be discerned. I think we really are at least on this path, just ready to fight the boss. That's the only thing left to do here. Very interesting. Usually these other passageway or paths had alternate directions to go in. So we have the Palace of the Embroideries. That's one of the bosses. Crown of Towers, that's the second one. 
and the Sacred Entombments. There were four bosses, though. These are the three that had... I forget what exactly it was. There was a special reason to fight these three before the, uh, the fourth one. Let me just climb out of here. There's a... Uh, checkpoint up there we can use to heal. Clonk. Still haven't upgraded at all. Like, we haven't upgraded health or... I'll say we haven't upgraded damage. We have picked up items that raise our damage, but it's not like a permanent progression thing that we've had uh, from Blasphemous 1. Yeah, still no boss. Freaking, like, two hours into the game, did a lot of exploration, haven't fought a boss yet. We probably should. 